engagement has always been really important to me with my youth and really getting to know them. Um, so through this process, I've had a chance to do that with a couple of my youth. And my favorite thing about it is really that that level of engagement that I can get from a contact, even working on a page or just looking at even putting a picture down where a youth can tell me about that picture and where did that come from and what was happening in that moment. And um, I really... Uh, have experienced that in my regular face-to-face -face contacts with teens, what happens and young adults, what happens is that we're kind of dealing with the in the moment. We're dealing with what is the crisis today? Are we moving? Are we, are we dealing with school? Are we working on driver's license? Like there's so much going on in their lives right now that we don't often get to talk about the past. And especially those kids who have been in care for a really long time, they don't always want to talk about the past because the past sucks it's sad and they get so angry and upset and hurt and um just about being in the in the in foster care in um, working with the agency and having being stuck with this child welfare thing um controlling their lives so um i really get to kind of bring up those situations in a way that is not super traumatic working with the all about me books um one of the teens i got to work with on um on her all about me book with her she as expected was not like super thrilled with the process she thought it was kind of ridiculous but we started working on the powerpoint together in my office just in my cubicle and we as we're putting it together, she opened up, this is a team that's usually super guarded. And she opened up about things that she never talked to me about. And she's told me a lot of her history, but these are things that were happy. These are things that were memories that she, that she had from holidays. And when we talked about her culture and she had a hard time thinking of what her culture was. So we, we talked about what did a holiday look like in your life? And what did grandma cook and what did mom make and what did you get for gifts? And so we had literally, we were laughing and crying for some of these, um, for some of these stories, but I got to hear her tell her story and her experience and from her own point of view, rather than looking at our assessments and um, the mental health pieces and all of those other things that we usually get these stories from. So I think that's pretty magical. I think that um, kids are always, you know, in anything that's about them is going to um, spark their curiosity and their interest. Um, but I also think that these books are a versatile tool that we can use with adults in their life as well. Um, I've just started to um, use an all about me book with a, a birth parent um, as a way for her and her child to get to know each other better. They haven't lived together for several years. And, um, and the child is starting, who's 11, is starting to have a lot of questions about his life and um, why he's in foster care um, and is in a place where he's, um, he's able to, to talk about those things. And so this is a wonderful tool that we can use um, to talk not only with him, but also with his mom um, and then help facilitate the process of the two of them talking together. Um, and if those of you watching this are worried that this is another, um, this is another, um, this is extra work for you as a worker. Um, I think that a lot of the information that's gathered in these books is information that you're probably already gathering during home visits or conversations with various providers, you know, in terms of you're probably getting kids um, information about their developmental milestones and their height and weight and um, things that they like to do, et cetera. But this All About Me book allows us to catalog this information in a way that's easy for the child to access rather than having it in a family report or a case note, um, which kids don't necessarily see or access as, as easily. So this is a great way for them to um, have information about their own identity and write out their story. Um, and I've also seen um, kids as, as 
um, they work through their story. And as I'm bringing, sometimes you can only do a page or two at a time, depending on a child's attention span. So as I'm bringing the book, um, and they're all about, about me book to their uh, home visit, I see kids kind of perk up. And there's this sense of pride that this is their book and it's about them. Um, and it's something that they, you know, they may even want to share with other people um, because they're excited about it. Each time I've worked on these books, it has been with the electronic format, um, the PowerPoints, taking my Surface Pro out into the field, out into the home visits directly. Um, and the children have seemed to enjoy that well. They, I let them pick out their own templates each time, go through all the different ones. And, um, and I actually had a child who was five years old who wanted to type herself. So any of her answers, instead of me typing it, she wanted to. Um, the interesting part is this child did not know all of her letters yet. So um, it actually gave me the chance to really work on this child with her letters, where are they at on a keyboard, so she was able to type it. Um, it was a very engaging experience, more so than my typical home visits, which in my normal home visits, I'm usually there easily 30 minutes to an hour anyway, but it allowed me to talk to each child about um, things that I probably wouldn't have asked about, or you know, I probably wouldn't have worked on a child with her letters in the past. Um, some of the pages that have been my favorite to work on so far with these kids is really the feelings page and talking about, um, tell me about times when you're mad, tell me about times that you're sad, happy, so on and so forth. Um, because each time it um, elicits more, uh, more discussion. Um, one of the kids talked about how today something happened at daycare where a child pushed him. And so um, actually the biological mother and I were able to have a, a deeper conversation about what that had looked like. Um, and so each time I'm doing these books with these new conversations, I'm actually learning something new about these kids. And with the, with the type of work that I do, I typically hold on to cases. I'm typically the case worker for um, well over a year. And so things that I never knew about these kids, even though I'm having all these very in-depth conversations, um, these kids have all amazed me with something different each time. What I'm really excited about with these All About, about Me books is that we're able to get a snapshot of what this child is really like right here, right now, and really get an understanding of the really good things in this child's life. Their favorite foods, favorite colors, music, important people in their life, um, different things like that. When I heard about this project and that it was that it came about from kids in foster care who said that they didn't know some of their story and they don't remember and they didn't have pictures and I feel pretty passionate about kids being able to tell their own story and if I can help with that, then I feel good about that. One of my other kids that I've been working with is um, about to be um, adopted. She's um, very close to that process and what was interesting to me with working with her and she's a little bit older and she has a lot of memories and she um, was good and very excited to work through the project but she at the very end it says questions and her question was why am I being adopted and this child who's been in the system for several years and we've been working through this adoption process for the last several months had that question so to me this brings about things that we can help kids resolve and their questions they have and insecurities they have. And this is not things you would run into like in your face-to-faces or your daily work. And it just slows things down for a minute so you can connect with kids again, using these pages to help answer some questions that might be helpful to them in their story.